So yeah, fighting against some um, kind of an endangered species. We have not seen that many Pokemon trainers since the early days of Ultimate. Yeah. But Mackie Money, one of the better players in Texas. I think he's ranked in Waco, if I um believe so. I'm not sure. Might not be Waco. But he's definitely from like that central region. But well, now we started off with that 50% combo, it shows that Yeah. PT has a lot of stuff going for him. Okay. Kiba. Oh, putting Mackie Money in a terrible position here. Do you have to switch to Charizard? Take it. And the pull out on the switch. Oh my god, that that tether canceled a switch would have tripped me up, but Lima was ready for it. Oh yeah. Like how do you expect that? Because, like, BTs are not that common anymore. No, they're not. And you have to be, like, on your game to punish the Pokemon Switch. It's, it's a really good, like, defensive option. I think it's frame one or two. Probably frame one. Yeah, I think it's frame one. So you have to, like, you know, know what's going to happen. Okay. It's a scary position. Oh. Oh. Is Lima not going to be able to recover? It's Lima. Yeah, it's but, Lima. But... But he catches that with the up smash there and just takes it. Yeah, because he, you know, he didn't go to the ledge. He was kind of above it. Mac came money was ready there with that up smash. But now Squirrel's back out. And if, if Mac can get like one good interaction, he can get a lot going. All right, got Lima ledge here. Oh, oh, he could have. Yeah, it didn't that, have enough of the witch type. If we just put the up smash, I think that would have taken it. Maybe. All right, great Ti living, charging that water gun to get a little bit of a distance between him and Lima. But done. It gets him back on stage, but but now he's at a lot of percent. And yeah, Ivysaur is the answer here. And that back air just punishes the the neutral base. Alright, Squirtle doing some work here. Gonna switch to the Ivysaur. Looking for a setup out of his tech chase. Gets the down throw and up B, and now it's put Lima in a terrible position. Can he Are get the stock bike? Nope. Way too late on, way too late on the trigger on that one. Yeah, I mean it could be quite difficult to edge guard or kill this character at ledge. Yeah. Oh god, Lima's going for it. He's gonna go for it. Nope, goes back to stage. I thought, I thought I saw oh, he coming. Oh, way. Yeah. That tether. I'm, su I'm surprised that tether worked that way. He really has like very good tether like movement. I, I've noticed at the ledge. All right, Charizard. Have to respect the jab. The forward tilt sends him way off, but it's yep. not quite enough yet. I guess he didn't trust the dash grab or the side beat, because both of those would have killed. Right Ooh, up there, gonna do it. And I wonder if we're gonna see a switch here. Is he just gonna ride with Charizard? Charizard's probably the only safe option here. Let's see, let's see. Good job catching that option. Gets him with the flame breath, the flame throw, and gets him way up. Oh. Oh, actually dashes out of it. It doesn't matter. The oh, switch the save from the up tilt back air. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. F throw. She needs it. She needs yeah. it, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, outside of which time, her kill options are basically just forward smash read, jab, or up tilt back air. Yeah. But um, jab and I don't know if F throw got buffed. I know jab got buffed and yeah. increased the kill power. But F throw, it works against characters like Squirtle or P2. Yeah, really like characters at high percents. She only has two jumps and jump cancel. It feels like seven. That character is impossible to edge guard. I'm honestly convinced the better you are at Bayo, the more. The better your recovery is. You just get more jumps. Yeah. The better you are. Lima actually has 12 jumps. Yeah, he just hasn't busted them out yet. Yeah. Because he doesn't want Nintendo to figure out that he's figured it out and then nerf it. Definitely. An but no, Lima, like, he never gets edge guard, like, edge guarded. It's just sometimes he'll oh. kill himself because he goes too hard. <laughs> well, Lima was going way high for that. It didn't quite work out. Let's see. God, the ledge planking. What do you do? What do you do? Yeah. Get that up tilt back air. That was one of those few like kill options you were talking about. Lima is very consistent with it. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a two hit confirm, but you know. So that up tilt is pretty easy to land. Now 
Let's see. Oh no. Oh, the confirm, it's a back air. That was pretty cute. Oh, he was going so ham off stage. I thought for like three separate times he was just gonna re go back and reset. Like, no, Lima just Lima just doesn't care. He will kill you. Yeah, he's like, oh, you aren't dead yet. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna murder you. I mean, what are you gonna do? I guard him. No. <laughs> exactly. Okay, is he going for it again? All right, one of the ledge trap back air. Not afraid of that Ivy Sword. I've smashed it all. Lima has no fear. That's like the best way to describe his playstyle. He just, he just play, he just goes for it. And speaking of going for it, just pops it up there and just sends him off the top. Oh, okay, going back to stage this time actually. No, he's going for it all. Yeah, you can't get back. From yeah. That. So sad. We Lima didn't get to see a cool Lima clip. We just saw Charizard not making it back to stage. Yeah, I, was like, I don't know if 